Hi, Anastasia here. I've been selling online courses since 2018 and made about $220,000 from just one course in the first pandemic year. I was worried people wouldn't buy due to the panic and saving mindset, but just the opposite happened. And since that year, even more people turned to online education. My video from the last year on this topic was quite popular, but Online course platforms are always updating their features and pricing structures, so I owe you an updated video for this year. I will focus on my real experiences with platforms, on their support quality, and on the hidden drawbacks of these platforms that you can only find out about them by using the platforms. It's easier, by the way, to compare the features of the platforms side by side in a blog post format, so I will also link my detailed article in the description below, and you can check it later. Now, course platforms fall into two main categories, just the course platforms and CRM integrated platforms with email marketing tools. So let's get started with just the course platforms, which are usually more suitable for beginners. And Thinkific is the first in my review because I've been using it for about four years. It's one of the most budget-friendly options out there. It is a course platform, not a CRM, meaning that I still have to use another tool. In my case, I use Moosend for emails. I used it for so many years, not only because it was cheaper than others. Thinkific actually offers a great course experience for both creators and students. You can build customizable course websites, design sales pages, you can release your course all at once or maybe in parts, and it even includes free Wistia video hosting, which is a big deal. If you don't believe me, just check how much you would pay for your own Wistia account each month. You can use Thinkific on a forever free plan if you have just one course, which is great. And it's one course, but with unlimited students, and it has no hidden cost, meaning that they won't even charge you a percentage of your course sales like many other platforms do. It's perfect if you're not sure when you will start making enough money to afford the monthly fees. And their paid plans begin at just $49 a month. And I've been on the basic plan on Thinkific for ages, and I've got everything that I needed. Now, Thinkific support team is what really always surprised me. I haven't needed them so much, but when I did, their answers were actually meaningful and they really tried to find a solution. By the way, even if some of the issues were not even related to Thinkific itself, but to some integrated apps with my platform. Again, I think that Thinkific is ideal for beginners because you can stay on their free plan without paying for a domain or a hosting and it hosts your video lessons and sales pages for free. I've been using Thinkific for many years and you can tell it was great because I was very hesitant about migrating from it. But at some point in business, you actually start looking for more advanced solutions simply because you can afford them. And the platform that I'm currently migrating all my courses to is called Thrivecard. By the way, we will talk about a bunch of platforms today. But if you're interested in my review for a specific platform, then feel free to check the timestamps in the description below this video. Now, Thrivecard, I use it first just for my checkout pages because they're more flexible than Thinkific used to offer. You can add customer reviews and other elements in a simple blog editor to those checkout pages. And they also have Learn Plus, which is an online course platform. But the downside compared to Thinkific is that you cannot host your videos on Thrivecard. You need to host them on a separate platform and that's an additional cost. But for this, I actually found a very affordable solution called bunny.net and I'm paying not that much at all, about $10 a month, but actually it depends on the streaming volume that you need and it depends on how big your video files are. You could be paying a lot less than $10 if you have just one smaller course, um, even like just a couple of bucks a month. Or you could be paying more if you have multiple courses and thousands of students that go through them. Then you simply embed your video lessons from from Buddy.net in your Thrivecart Learn Lessons. And I personally like the minimalist design of Thrivecart course platform. And another advantage of Thrivecart for established course creators is their lifetime offer. I don't know if uh, it will be still available when you watch this video, but basically you could pay something that's like an annual plan on most of the other course platforms, but you have to pay it upfront and that would be it. You then can use the Thrivecart 
for as many years as you want. While I'm recording this video, this lifetime deal is still on their site, but I cannot promise it will be there for much longer. So check out my links to Thrivecart and Thrivecart Learn in the description below. Next, let's talk about Teachable. This is the next platform I'd like to cover, and it's very similar to Thinkific, but it has a bit different payment structure and different fees. Overall, Teachable and Thinkific have very similar features. Teachable is a little more expensive on the monthly fee, but there are also several extra fees from each sale that you have to make through Teachable. This was the biggest pitfall for me. You see, I actually started selling my first online course on Teachable, but I had to migrate it to Thinkific in about 10 months, because Teachable added those extra commissions from each sale for using their gateway. The free plan on Teachable is not like really free on Thinkific, because you will still pay $1 plus 10% from each course you sold. And you could make the math and you might end up paying in these fees more than you're paying in the basic paid plan. On the basic plan with Teachable, you will still pay a 5% fee per transaction in addition to the price of the plan. So you again will end up paying more than on the basic plan with Thinkific. You also don't get to have affiliates for your course on the basic plan on Teachable, which is included on the basic plan with Thinkific. So with Teachable, you're kind of forced to use the plan that costs $159 a month if you want to avoid transaction fees and if you want to have affiliates. It probably sounds like I'm quite biased when I compare Thinkific and Teachable. If it does, well, you're right, I am biased, and that's what this whole video is about, right? You wanted to know a real person's real opinion. If that's what you were looking for in this video, then give me a like or a comment below so that I know that I'm on the right track. So I switched to Thinkific and I used it for four years over just 10 months on Teachable. But if you compare the pricing structure, definitely Thinkific wins with their free and basic plans. Now, just like in many other industries, Early adoption of AI tools can help us online course creators get ahead of competition, save time and resources. As course creators, we all know that promoting our paid programs starts with creating great free educational content. Kind of like what I do here on my YouTube channel, educating people about Pinterest marketing and blogging. I've been using this all-in-one AI platform dubbed up to generate automatic subtitles for my videos. YouTube does have automatic subtitles, but they often come out with lots of mistakes. Dubbed up AI does this job much better and it can make it in over 50 languages. The platform has a suite of AI tools from idea to text to automatic transcription that will supercharge your content creation game. If you need to turn your written lessons and ebooks into engaging audio content, you can use DubDub's text-to-speech AI feature. Their AI voices resemble human speech. And this is the instant voice cloning feature. Now voice sample only require three seconds and can be used to generate voiceovers in 29 languages using your own voice. Another really cool feature, AI avatars, allows you to create characters even with your own face and look and talk with your voice and the results are so realistic. Now let's talk about video editing. It used to take hours to edit my video lessons after recording them. Now I can use DubDub for trimming, merging, adding effects and transitions. All of this is a breeze. Your course content will look top-notch in no time. You can try DubDub for free using the first link in the description below. And we are moving to the next course platform, it's Kartra. This is the first platform in today's video that we can categorize as an all-in-one platform. Why? Because with Kartra, you don't even need need a separate tool for email marketing. It's included in the package. Carto allows you to build customizable course websites, optimized sales pages, membership sites. You can do funnel building, you can do affiliate management, and you can host your webinars, and also you can do your marketing automation here. They don't offer a free plan, but with Kartra's starter plan that starts at $99 a month on the annual payment, you can store up to 2,500 contacts, send unlimited emails, create unlimited pages, sell unlimited courses and memberships, but the webinars and affiliate management will be only available on the next plan. From the first look, 
It might seem like Kartra is a more pricey solution compared to, say, Thinkific. But you need to realize that with Kartra, you don't need to use an email provider like, say, Moosand or ConvertKit, so it is minus one monthly expense. And you can build your sales pages, host your live webinar if you are on the silver plan, and the entire funnel will be right here inside Kartra. So you won't even need to have a separate WordPress website or an account on another webinar platform. I have a friend who runs her store with several digital products on Kartra and she told me that subscribers who you don't send emails to in each particular month are not even counted towards your contacts. So if you don't send emails to your entire list and you only need your email automations for a few thousand of leads that go through your funnel each month, then you can use the starter plan for a very long time without ever needing to upgrade. An important note here is that Kartra doesn't charge any transaction fees, like Teachable does, for example, on their first two plans. If you're looking for a way to manage your entire funnel in one place, Kartra could be the way to go. You will find the link to this platform, just like to all the other tools reviewed today in the description below this video. The next one is System.io and it's similar to Kartra in a sense that it's an all-in-one platform and it's still a newer player on the market. It's currently way more affordable. System.io has a forever free plan and their paid plan starts at $27 a month and the next one is $47 and it includes an option of hosting evergreen webinars. And then you have a $97 a month plan where you get unlimited everything, even unlimited email contacts, which is shocking because the highest unlimited plan on System.io costs less than starter plans on other all-in-one tools. Even the free plan on System.io is very generous and it gives you an option to use your custom domain name and you can run your own affiliate program and both things are not available on the free plans with any other tools in this list. And you get up to 2000 contacts, one course, one membership with unlimited students, and all of this is free. If you're on a tight budget, but you want to start your online course business right away, you could start with the free plan on System.io. Check the link in the description below. The program has a sophisticated statistic tool that displays a sales report, the value per email contact, and the value per customer on the dashboard. So you can get with System.io all of these things like sales funnel, email marketing tool, easy website builder, evergreen webinars, and online course platform. Okay guys, if you find this video helpful so far, then give me a like. And if you have any questions, the best place to ask me is in the comments below. The next platform is Podia. It's also striving to be an all-in-one online course platform for online courses, digital downloads, webinars, and subscriptions. They also offer course pre-selling and selling digital downloads and selling coaching and consultations. They have drip courses, membership coupons, and they also include affiliate marketing system to help you sell your product. Podia's monthly plans start with a free plan, which however comes with a 10% commission on each sale. And I honestly would say that these free plans are not real because you can create a draft course or a webinar, but to actually publish them, you have to upgrade to at least the $39 a month plan. And the only plan that has no transaction fees and allows you to have affiliates for your products is the $89 a month plan, which means for me that this is only an all-in-one tool if you are on this most expensive plan. The next one is Learn Worlds, and this would be better for businesses, for large course providers and corporations because it offers way more advanced features. Things that advanced course creators might need like maybe quizzes, gamification, interactive videos and so on. Your students can also take notes and highlight important points in the educational content that you provided on this platform. But be aware that on the startup plan, which is $24 a month paid annually, you will have to pay an extra $5 fee per course sale. The good point is that Learn Worlds offers a free 30-day trial, so you can check the link in the description below as well. The next platform is LearnDash. If you already are running a WordPress website or a blog and you're considering venturing into course sales, then LearnDash is an option worth exploring. It's a WordPress plugin designed specifically for course creation and management. Unlike other platforms that I've discussed earlier in this video, LearnDash integrates directly with your existing WordPress site and it's functioning as an add-on. This approach offers you a huge advantage 
its affordability. With an annual fee starting at $199, it's a cost-effective choice compared to monthly charges common on other platforms. But it's important to be aware of the technical demands. Since LearnDash operates as an overlay on your WordPress site, it requires a certain level of technical know-how for effective management and maintenance. If you're not particularly tech-savvy, you might need to invest in a professional assistance for setup and that will add up to your expenses. If you're not ready to invest into an annual plan right away, you could still try instead LearnDash Cloud Hosting, which is a fully hosted WordPress website and the LearnDash plugin is included in the package and the rate starts here at $29 a month. Another benefit of LearnDash solution is that you won't have to pay any transaction fees like on a couple of other platforms mentioned early in this video. All right, let's wrap up everything that I've talked about regarding these options. Personally, I'm using Thrivecart for hosting my courses right now and Moosand for my email marketing. The rest of my funnel, that's all about landing pages on my WordPress site. And for the evergreen webinars, I use Easy Webinar. And guess what? They all integrate nicely with Moosand and most of the time I don't even need Zapier to make them work together. So it's a little bit of work to get all these tools talking to each other, but I like not putting all my eggs in one basket, you know? Now, there is another side of the coin. If you're not into juggling multiple platforms, you might want to look at an all-in-one solution like Kartra or System.io, which I mentioned earlier. I know some business owners love this because it's just simpler to manage. And you might not believe it, but sometimes these all-in-one platforms, even with their higher monthly fees, can end up being more wallet-friendly. That's especially true if you're cool with regularly cleaning up your email list, since the price usually goes up with more contacts on these platforms. Choosing the right approach really depends on your style. Are you the type who loves customizing every bit of your business? Then you might be better off with something like Thinkific or Thrivecart mixed with other services for your emails, webinars, and landing pages. But if you're all about simplicity and don't mind trading some flexibility for an all-in-one solution, then Kartra or System.io could be your jam. Again, if you want to dive deeper and compare all these features and prices in my detailed article, just hit the info icon up there, up there, or check it out in the description below. Before you bounce off this video, if you like the option of setting up your course on a WordPress website with LearnDash, I actually have a detailed tutorial linked up there. I'll catch you in the next videos.